Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, we'd like to thank Optimum Engineering for sponsoring the video. Optimum Engineering is a company that offers building and consulting services. For more information, to contact Saki Shakalela on 081 467 8855. Enjoy the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to welcome back to another special episode of Anarchy Podcast. Um, today, today we have a very special guest, and we we we, we always have special guests. Mm-hmm. So. I've always wanted to do this, pretend I'm a, a, a ringside announcer, um, so I'll, I'll try this. So our guest today is the is a former WBA uh, champion, a former WBO champion. The man can take a punch, the man can give back way more punches. Um, coming in at 47 professional fights with 40 wins, 6 losses, 1 no contest, 25 fights coming by TKO as the one the only, the legend himself, Paulus, the Hitman Moses! There we go, there we go, there we go. No, 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 Yeah, man, welcome, welcome, yeah, welcome, Hitman. Thank, thank you, thank you. All right, look, Hitman, um, yeah. like I said, thank you very much for making the time to come on the Nokia podcast. We really appreciate you. Yeah. Um, you know, you are a very important um, person in, in, in this country. Um, there are a lot of um, young athletes uh, who are aspiring to be professional boxers that look up to you. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to just have you on our podcast so you can tell your story and then maybe again um, inspire future um, uh, boxers in, in Namibia. Mm-hmm. So first things first, um, just tell us a, 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 brief, a, a brief background about yourself, um, where you grew up, um, if you went to school, um, where it was and when is it that you moved um, to Ventuk? Yeah, okay, uh, thank you. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, uh, of course, yeah, mine is not so uh, uh, difficult, it's just the easy things, okay. you know, because I was just grown up in Okapta, I was born in you know, Oshana region, All right. just close to the road there, yeah, mm-hmm. okay. the, uh, Dangwa Airport. Okay. Then the, our house, if you see my house now, mm-hmm. my, my grandmother's house is just upstairs yeah, yeah, okay. in the road. So I was grown up there. I went to school to at the Ambiri Kobanian School. Okay. So I just school there and young mm-hmm. and then also Kobanian mm-hmm. School. Yeah. yeah. So then from there I try I start to make my life. So mm-hmm. I moved to Windhoek in two thousand. Okay. Yeah. When I went moved to Windhoek in two thousand, yeah, it's where I start my career. Now. Okay. As a, as a, as a boxer. As a boxer. Mm. It, you know, um, funny you say that your house is just there by the, by the road. Mm. I was talking to um, TK earlier. Like <laughs> everyone knows, especially when we were younger, <laughs> when, we, when we are taking the bus to the north, everybody, <laughs> when you're in the bus, yeah. that is Hitman's house, the yellow house, the yellow house, <laughs> everyone knows your house. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Okay. That is true. So you, you started your, your career. So when you came to Ventuk in 2000, you came here just strictly for boxing. Uh, no, uh. when I came to Windhoek, uh, I did not come to just because of boxing. Okay. I just came here to okay, try mm-hmm. yeah, to get my life here. Yeah. Okay. Start my life here, you see. Yeah. Uh, how yeah. old were you at the time when you moved to Windhoek? Uh, I think okay. when I moved in Windhoek, I was 20. Eh, I can't remember how that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but in your in your <coughs> early twenties, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. twenty something. Yeah. So 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 you moved to Bento. At what point do you do you do you join the police force? Because because uh, as as a lot of us know that you are in the in the police force. And also, which one came first? Did you did you find boxing first, or did you join the police force first? No no I I, I start boxing first. Oh okay. Yeah. So I joined boxing first. Mm-hmm. Then later. In two thousand and three is when I, I jo- is where I joined. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay, but now how how does one just decide? Um, I want to be a boxer. Mm-hmm. Were you there by Okapia <laughs> just beating up the boys <laughs> yeah. to realize which are there? But I can actually make you know a living from this because like you know like for people like myself. I, I know which are going to be very much. There's no way I can just decide one day I wake up, I want to be a boxer. So, did you have, like, maybe you, were, you grew up having fights when you were younger, or how did you decide to say, let me try boxing? Not really. Uh, mm. I think when I was younger, since I came, uh, I'm a disciplined person. Yeah. yeah. Even it's not like I must put myself there. Mm. But uh, I think I respect discipline, mm. to be discipline. Mm. So, when I was young, I, I used to. According to the history of my mother and my grandmother, mm-hmm. because I really grown up with, with my grandmother's 
house. Yeah, she's the one who who raised me. Yeah, who raised me. So I used to to hang up under the the punching, the the bag just. Just the back in the in the tree and mm-hmm. do the boxing things. That's the most. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but when I started boxing, mm-hmm. when I came in window now, uh, so I was now watching uh, the the prof- the amateur boxer mm-hmm. like uh, Simon Simon and those guys when they used to go and fight. Yeah. Now it's when I decided to say, no, these guys will not beat me. Yeah. yeah it was just like a job when you were watching on TV. Like, yeah. Yeah. So then from there I decided uh, I want to start boxing. Okay. Yeah. So, so now you decide <laughs> boxing. Uh, I don't know if Sunshine Academy was there that time. Uh, did you, or what, what, what boxing academy did you join? Where did you start? Did you go train at that time? Yeah. No, that time Sunshine was not there. Okay. Yeah. There was the, the but the gym was there. Okay. Yeah. That gym, because that's the, uh, Youth complex. Mm, yeah, yeah, youth complex. I see. Yeah, so there's a training stuff there. Eh? Mm-hmm. So there was now a gym. There was now these guys, uh, 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 Capello. Yeah. Seafood Capello, now he's a coach at Sunshine. Mm-hmm. At that time, he was also a, a, a 10 professional, I think. Okay. Yeah. So I, I just asked one of my, my uncle who was staying with me here. Mm-hmm. That man, I want to start boxing. Yeah. And that time is uh, the time of Rambo and Hindi and, G- and uh, Joseph and Hindi. He must rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, so, so now Joseph and Hindi and Rambo and Hindi, they were staying at our locations because I was staying in Shambhala. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just one street. So, yeah. say, oh, if you want to start boxing, I can take you to Joseph, then you can take you to the gym. Mm-hmm. So, that Monday, then uh, my uncle take me there. Yeah. And he's taken to the gym. We went with uh, Joseph to the gym. So then I start. Okay. Yeah, so that time now, uh, uh, I think in uh, Eric Simon and, and Nesta, they were in South Africa. Okay. Yeah, so when, when Nesta, they came here still in the gym. Mm-hmm. He, he, now we start now with the Nastasha and uh, yeah. Okay. things. Yeah. Then we are in gym. We are in gym. All right. So do you remember when was your first professional fight? Uh, yeah, my first professional fight it was uh, professional fight. Yeah, the first. Oh, yeah, it was in. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah. Two thousand and two. Two thousand and two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Two thousand and three was my professional fight in in, in August. In August. Yeah, it was in August in Country Club. Mm. Yeah. How did you? Because obviously, when you started, you were just beating everyone <laughs> left, right, center, <laughs> just pa pa pa. Undisputed. How did you? How did you feel after your first victory? You know, because now you set a goal for yourself to say, "I want to be a boxer," and I'm assuming, obviously, you put in a lot of training, and you get there and you get into your first match and you win. How was? How was that feeling? You know, the the, the, the surprise it was that the, when I was, when I joined boxing in Amaja. Mm-hmm. You know when you, when I joined boxing in Amacha, yeah. we people they were more concentrating on the on the national team. Oh, okay. Yeah. So see, all so, the ones yeah. that got to the Olympics and yes. Yeah. And that time we have uh, the late uh, Ambrose Kanji. Mm. He was uh, very busy with boxing. Tried to organize everything yeah. every weekend. Every, there's always always a tournament or going town to town. So so that time now. Uh, when I started boxing, so I was, I'm a lightweight, mm-hmm. 61. Yeah. Uh, we call it 134 pounds, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so when I started now, uh, I'm a lightweight. Mm-hmm. Until now, since I started boxing, mm-hmm. I never <laughs> yeah. overweight. Or, you never went to yeah, any I just class. Are you in the same yeah, class? Yeah, I'm just the in the same class. Yeah. Mm-hmm, okay. So now, that time, when we were in the amateur now, mm-hmm. You see, I started boxing in 2000. Yeah. Right? But 2001, I went in a, a national championship when I went to Vargas Bay for the national championship. Mm. All the region now, we meet that side. Okay. I won the championship. Mm. I came with a gold medal. Yeah. Then I, I go back now, again, 2002. When I go back 2002, I defended it and I came with it. So now the problem was now, the national to get if you to to go for Olympic or yeah. some six something like that. Mm-hmm. So we were now two. Uh, Jason Naure was there, the lightweight, and he's I find him there already. Oh, okay. So no, it was like always I'm in the B team. So wherever any 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 
any national team mm-hmm. national is selected team. to go. Yeah. So the A team must go, B team must stay. Mm-hmm. So it's when now I decide no. What can we do now? Let me let uh, this guy must just go like that. Let me start professional. Mm-hmm. So then from there, when I came now, the professional was very hot. Eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, people know you throughout your career as yes. yes. the Hickman. Mm-hmm. How did this name come about? You know, how did they decide to chant man? We must just make him Hickman. How did the name come? When did they start calling him Hickman? Yeah, uh, this Hickman name came from Nesta. Nesta, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I was, my, uh, I, I was having a jeep. My jeep went very, very fast. Yeah. So now, I think in the history of boxing, the person who was having a jeep, it was uh, uh, Thomas Hens. Mm-hmm. His name is Hickman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so my jeep was perfect like Thomas Hens. Then that's why then he, every time no one can see my chip, even yeah. Nesta himself. You see, I can't I give you a pass, but I can't see your chip chip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My chip was very fast. So, <laughs> yeah. so then it's the uh, this is Hitman Moses. Hitman Moses. Yeah. So the names come from there, mm-hmm. from Tim, uh, Tommy Hands. Okay. Thomas and yeah. Um fast forward so we I'm going in front, we came coming back. Mm. There's a song by the debutin, eh? Where he said, Hit him in, hit him in a thing, come on. I don't know if you heard it. Did you ever hear that song? Yes, I have. How, how did you feel about the booty making fun of you, actually? I know, you know what, the booty is a friend of mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we always, when he's doing something, he's yeah. always, we are together. So okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, and that's it's good mm, to hear. That's mm, good to hear. After the booty. Mm. It's also funny how he was, he made that song and then he got in the ring. Yeah. He realized. <laughs> <laughs> It's not easy. It's an accident. It's an accident. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not easy. What is the guy's name? Permian. Permian. Yeah, accident. Yeah, he was not ready. Yeah. All right, cool. So, um, so you joined the the force in two thousand and three. Yeah, you said. Yes. So, um, and then by two thousand and two, you you started going professional already. So at what point did you realize oh, I need to um, go in the force and also what was the, the reason behind it, you know? Yeah, uh, I joined the force because, you know, wherever, if you come from wherever, mm-hmm. you need job. Yeah. Yeah, so, and I see in the boxing, the career, the, the boxing career is just for short, the limit, it's yeah. short, you see. Mm-hmm. And you need uh, at least life. You need medical, I uh, medical uh, aid. Mm-hmm. So at least you must, you see, yeah, all your yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then I decided that no, I have to at least to get a job, yeah. so I can do it because it was also good because I can do it even you are you are working mm-hmm. after work you can still go to the gym. Yeah. So even the, some of the uh, my colleagues they also doing the same. Yeah. Uh, even though they are not in the police, they are working in the company, but they are. Yeah, yes. Yeah, even mm-hmm. some of the coach, mm-hmm. because training is only starting at 4 o'clock. Yeah. Who's, if you are knocking off at 5 o'clock, then you will come straight to the gym. To the gym. Okay. Just a yeah. quick question uh, when you join the force, because already you're making a name for yourself in the boxing industry, did you start off as a constable? Yes. Mm, it, for, well, for how long? Of course, because you know, before. When, when I started boxing there, mm. I joined Nampol team as well. Mm. Nampol team boxing club. Oh. See? Oh, okay. Yeah, so now in those years now, there was uh, too much competition here in Namibia. If you fight, uh, that's why you saw some of athletes there at Nampol, some there at India, India yeah. some there at. Uh, Correctional facility. Correctional facility mm-hmm. or Rutres at, uh, at this company in the Orangi Mount, Nandir. Mm-hmm. Okay. And some there with uh, uh, of Mount, what is this? Uh, Rosting. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. You see? So mm-hmm. now, companies those days they were having competitions. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. now, now if you are from Nampol, mm-hmm. you are fighting as a Nampol member. Yeah. So later now, the, the boxing control board also mm-hmm. so come up with these things of the, okay if you are fighting for the number you must be a, a number of police officers okay, okay. Mm-hmm. yeah so 
then they a lot of things also get job mm -hmm. you see something like that okay yeah. yes so yeah. so even in those companies we are just again beating everyone <laughs> <laughs> yes. okay mm -hmm. um how did how did now when you start now you you are a professional boxer yeah and then you start traveling you've been to places like japan you've been to scotland you've mm -hmm. been to america you've been to russia how did overall like boxing change your life and in, in your in, in your lifestyle when you when you were at now at the peak after you won your first title you, you know, uh, first you have to understand what is boxing. Yeah. Professional, especially when it's coming for professional boxing. Mm -hmm. Professional boxing is the job. Yeah. Yeah. Job where there's uh, uh, contracts, what you need to sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why you have a coach and promoter and you have a, a manager as well. Yeah. So now when you go all those things, it's where you see that, oh, oh so it means this is business. Business. Yes. Okay. It's the company what is. Mm -hmm. It's like it's, you are in my company. Mm -hmm. We are. We put together. Come together. Uh, as a, yes. Mm -hmm. As one company. So. So now when I started now traveling now, it's where I see the reality that okay, this is job. Mm -hmm. It's not just like a, you are fighting for your country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, you are fighting for your country. People will know your country. Some of people when you are traveling, they don't know where is Namibia. Yeah, sure. They automatically on this side of, uh, they only know South Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you talk about Namibia, they say Namibia. Yeah, South Africans, they are when you try to explain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't know Namibia until you are yeah. done with them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> until you are, you know, when you are starting, is always no friendship. Yeah. But after the fight, then the strength will come. So you say you are from Namibia. Yeah. He said, yes, where is Namibia? They know, just in the corner of, of South Africa. They said, oh, okay, then they, because they know South Africa, because of Springbok. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, like, when you, when now it's a, it's a business now, mm -hmm. and you have all these fights, and you are, you are not hot anymore, you are very hot, you are yeah. a champion. <laughs> yeah. What was, what was, if you don't mind me asking, the highest paying uh, match that you have, and what amount did they pay you? Like in a million dollars? Uh, I think the highest money they paid me uh, is when I fought in. Yeah, it's when I fought in Namibia. Okay. When I defend the, the WBA titles. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was 1.5. 1.5. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And how much, how much, how much did Nesta take? Because uh, he was you only was the twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. Yes. Okay. So after he took the twenty five percent, then you were left with one point five. Yes. He didn't even have dengue. Yeah. What was the lowest? Yeah. Huh? The know? lowest mm. amount. Mm. I think the lowest amount I, I get uh, it was when I think he just. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, there's now some fight where you can get the lowest fight, mm. the lowest money okay, because fight. because you want to. You want to build something, you know, mm -hmm. especially okay. when, you, when you get a loss. Yeah. So now you, you have to look for somebody, you have to fight so to, for you to get a win. Okay, so you can, you can see that, okay, this guy, I can, I can, I can hit him, mm -hmm. I can meet him. Yeah. So even the money is so small, mm -hmm. let me go. I think it was 4.5. 4.5, yeah. okay. So for five. And this came after? 450. Yeah. 450. Yeah, 450. Is this after you were you were a champion or was it just before? No, after the we after are, we are champion. champion. Uh, I know after before. Be or before? Okay, yeah, before. before. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So then when you were a champion, you were only at one point something. Two. Yeah, something yeah. like yeah. So, yeah. but you remember that sometimes you are you are with the yeah. There's a manager, the yeah. promoter, and everything. Mm -hmm. The team, mm -hmm. so they must take their percentage. Yeah. I think you get maybe one point five. Mm -hmm. Then you, the percentage, then you. You go with yeah. your seventy-five percent. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So, when you were you were, when you and uh, Nesta was your was your manager, mm -hmm. at some point you guys went to South Africa and then you guys got robbed at the at the airport. Yeah. Tell us, tell us about that story. <laughs> I know that one. It was it was not it was we were just invited by one of my my our good friends, mm -hmm. uh, Demand Tobela. Yeah. Is a former WBC world champion, WBA world champion okay. as well. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the number one, it's the first uh, African to win the WBA mm -hmm. world championship. Mm -hmm. So now in lightweight, okay. yeah, where it's um, fighting. Wait, yeah. So when now this guy, it was just a position, I think, for the people. Mm -hmm. So what he did in his life of 
himself and South African is not to. So now he, he decided to invite us. Yeah. Because that time we are a, a, a world champion. I just won the, the WBA from Japan. Mm -hmm. So now he invited us to go to South Africa. Now when we came to, to the airport, uh, that day, because the event is tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that day it was on Friday. Mm -hmm. When we came to the airport on Friday, me and Nesta, <laughs> we were waiting for this guy to come pick it up. Come pick you guys up. Yeah. yeah. So now that time when we when we learned that set, mm -hmm. the the man went to the to the to the person to the what? To the interview. Oh yeah the interview. For, okay. Yeah for that one. Okay, for, for the that next. event. Yeah. So now when he's there the phone was off. It was yes. like on silent. On silent, yeah. So Nesta tried to call, uh this guy is not picking up. Mm. Because Nesta of course he's, he's been there before. Been, <laughs> been there before. So then he said, yes, champ, ah, don't worry. Let me just take a cab. Joe Big, I know yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the city. So yeah. we just, we get the, a bench there, then we get in the cab. Yeah. Then we sit behind. Mm -hmm. Now the problem when we sit behind, the moment the driver starts driving, I see something is wrong. Yeah. Just on his movement. Mm -hmm. Then so I keep my eyes on him. Yeah. So he just took the phone and he took only two words. I think he was organizing with the others to, yes, to so come so. find us in the road. South Africa. Yeah, South Africa. Mm. So when we are in the road, just a car come from behind. This guy was in the, the speed speed uh, line, mm -hmm. just pulling left to left and to the slow bar. Yeah. Slow bar later he stopped. Behind the one arnet just come from behind. Sure. Come from then two guys coming. Now the, the funny thing is only that when they came, they just came straight to, to us. One to is going to Nesta's door, one is one. Yes, the one is open scared. the door, then he come close, he take out the pistol, then he comes just say, bring everything, bring the money. See? So now, <laughs> the child, yes, the child. <laughs> you know that time you are a champion. Yeah, champion. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must look like a champion. Yeah, yeah. When you go out, they must yes. know. Yeah? The champion is here. The champion is here. Yeah, the champion is here. The phones. Yes. yes. He took everything, so he, even the passport. Uh -huh. When he took the passport, then I think. Uh, Robin, you're not yeah, going home. Yeah, I was <laughs> and I said, ah, Ma, I just asked, why are you taking our passport? Mm -hmm. So if you took our passport, now we How we we the it, then? Mm. Just look at me like this and he throw the passport back. Oh. He go, he take, come that side, he take out the key, yeah. he go, and he get in the car, mm. he driving and he drive, then he throw the key outside. So now this gentleman that the problem was they make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Because this guy is a businessman. Yeah. Because he's working with money. When you pick member take yeah, member yeah, from the airport, they have to pay you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they make a mistake because they did not no, take no, no, any this, yeah, from this gentleman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it was only us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when he came I just took a phone because he was having like a small phone then I took it and What year was this? Huh? What year was this? Eh, this it was two thousand and uh 2009. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's when I won the the, the WBA. WBA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was 2009. So he took the phone. I took the phone. I called Namibia. It was credits, and I just broke my my bank things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I tell the guy to take us to the near police station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he take us there. The the same guy who drove. Yeah, 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 because. Mm -hmm. Because he, those people, he don't know those people. Those yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, uh, yeah. Just robbers. Uh, robbers. Yes, robbers. So, mm -hmm. He was also part of us now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though they did not take anything. So yeah. when we go in there to the police station, we explain everything. Then we tell them to call Dinga because everyone knows Dinga in South Africa. Mm -hmm. It's a lost of Soweto for He's having that funeral uh, company. So that's what happened. So, uh, okay. Yeah. So then the next day you guys went to your event? Uh, yeah, next time we went to the event. Okay. When we went to the event next time, the next day, we finished the event, now we have to come back to come back here. Yeah. Without, yeah. without the chains. Without <laughs> the chains, everything, the cell phone. Yes. yes. Have it, so you have to buy another phone. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, but money was not the problem. Yeah, ah, money was not the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's another <laughs> time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, taking me back to, 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 to your career, mm -hmm. which fight in your life would you say was your best fight? And I'm talking in terms of when you were in the ring, you had the, the opponent figured out mm -hmm. and you just knew 
that this one is not going to win. This one, I have him already. Which oh, fight? Oh. Yeah, you have you had, you had control of the, the entire of match the, of the fight. Yeah. yeah, he was in your pocket. He was in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I think that fight is the, the one in Japan. Japan. Okay. Yeah, when I when I when I when I, chat, when I fight for the world championship mm -hmm. with Koboli. Yeah. So even though I broke my 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 hand that day, mm. I can see that this fight I'm controlling it because. Mm. The guy was just there. Yeah, he's, he's the tough guy, but I can see that I'm winning the fight. Yeah. Yeah, even uh, because his chance, I can see that his chance is only if he knocked me out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, that it was my, my night. Yeah, because I checked um, last night, I was watching back your fight with uh, Ricky Barnes. Yeah. And even though like you didn't win the fight, mm -hmm. you, you can you can take a punch. It's, you are very difficult to put down. Yes. Yeah, so... No, no, it's good, it's good. Yeah, uh, in the fight of Ricky Benz, it's mm -hmm. only... Uh, until now, I always... You know, people don't, don't like to be blamed, but I can blame my coach because... Yeah. My corner. Your corner. Yeah. yeah, because the corner is only the one who was supposed to tell me some, what to do. What to do, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that I was there mm -hmm. and... And, and, and I can see this guy was not doing really a lot of things to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because the moment I catch him, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, I know the star, what was Nessa was telling me, mm -hmm. he was always telling me I must keep keep close to the guy. Yeah. Yeah, but... And then every time you are close, you are also beating you at the back of the yes, head. Yes, right? yeah, he was beating He was yeah. fighting very dead. It's, yeah, it was a difficult fight, but I can see that uh, mm -hmm. something it was just wrong, just okay. from the corner. It's the corner was supposed to do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, was there ever um, in your in your in your in your during your career a time you felt like um, you wanted to quit quit boxing for any any sort of reason, or ever since you were you were you decided to become a professional, you just said I'm going to see this through. Was there a time that you wanted to quit and then you continued? And what was like your motivation in that case? Uh, not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, challenge challenge. There was some challenge when he, when he's coming for the. You and your manager, promoter, yeah. regarding the the money. Yeah. But yeah, I I did take care of it. Okay. Control it and yeah, with people who was close to me. Mm -hmm. So but I, I didn't really come in the the point of say ah let me just mm -hmm. do boxing then mm -hmm. because of it yeah the challenge are there. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's how's your relationship with your former manager and, and coach right now? Nesta. Yeah. No, I have no problem with Nesta. Okay. So we. We talk, we greet each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if he's having something and he's there, I can just go. Come and, by. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Knowing what you know now, um, after the experience that you have, mm -hmm. do you think, like, let's say maybe you are looking back at the fight to say, man, Manu, I could have done this, I could have done this. Do you ever think back, like, with the, the knowledge and you have it, and the experience that you have now, do you think back at your career? And like in terms of your, your losses, where you look uh, at the fight that you've lost and you think I could have done better here if I had done this um, or is it everything for you just to say it happened the way it is? Yeah, no, uh, okay, everything is having a reason why it is happening happen like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, if I'm telling you about my fight when I lost my, my world title here in Namibia, yeah, when I lost my fight here in Namibia, uh, I can see that I was winning the fight. Yeah. Yeah, but I can see that I was not on my own because, you know, you know, there was always a problem when it's coming for. You know, when 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 I become a world champion, then I started uh, as a as a professional boxer. Mm -hmm. It's where I see that okay, this is this is professional. This this boxing now, mm -hmm. it's a business. You see. Yeah. yeah, so then you see the treatment from the back when you're young, it's okay because you're coming from up, from, from down. Now you are big, so you can see this business. Yeah, when I lost my family in my world title in, in, in Country Club, mm -hmm. not Country Club, but Abani now. Abani, where the new uh, FNB now. Mm -hmm. That time, you know, when I went to that fight. I signed the contract in the dressing room. Yes. yes. Yeah. You see, now when you sign the contract in the dressing room, if you check now, how you supposed to get the contract of the fight? Yeah, no, it makes sense. no sense. Also. You see, mm -hmm. you supposed to get the contract for the fight before, even a three month or two month. 
So you can say you are happy now. Yeah. You are in the dressing room. Yes. You have to sign the contract. Those are the things that are difficult to. So that actually happened, yeah? Yes. Because you know it's all happened. So the, the, the I can see when I went in the in the, yeah. in the ring. In the ring. Even my coach, everyone can see that I, I'm. I, but I can see that I can hit this guy because mm-hmm. when you come to round seven, it's where this guy knocked me out. Mm-hmm. But even the punch would catch me. It, it was not really like okay. 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 maybe I'm out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So because you know there's it, there's always been a rumor to say that that fight you got you got a you got a con- you got a contract. Mm-hmm when you are about to fight so yeah. we we'll always thought maybe so. so it actually really happened yeah no that's really happening at the safari when i, when I went to safari mm-hmm. not not safari but uh Havana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when i'm in the uh, in the room going yeah. to to fight to the ring but so, what, what was the what was the reason why didn't you get to contract on time when yeah the reason the reason the reason the, apparently the money it was not fundraised, mm. and but but now the thing is only that you can really say that is the reason because the opponent is already here. Yeah, yeah. Because before you call the opponent to come to bring the, the opponent to come from his country. Yes. First, you send the, the contract, the contract from the opening. Mm-hmm. Then the opening have to agree with the contract. Everything is fine. The fight is on. Then you buy the ticket. Then they come in. Now your own person now. Yeah. Your, because. That one is just somebody you call to mm-hmm. fight, but your bread is here, so it's the one who's supposed to take care of you before you you do that one. That's yeah, crazy. and I don't know what was really the reason. But that is that is that's what happened. That is crazy. Yeah. So so basically, you got the contract and you read it that time before you sign, and you're like, also oh, you're not happy. Yeah. So now it's playing a mind game because you're not focused anymore. Yeah. You know? yeah because the mind was already out before you didn't get the contract. Why yeah. I'm here? Mm-hmm. I'm going to fight, but I didn't Nothing. know what I'm going to fight for. for. Yeah. So but I had companies the, or the government uh, give me money, but why wait? The contract is not here. Yes. Yeah, that is what they also did. That's crazy. Do. Okay, now knowing what you know, also with everything that happens in like the the business side of sports, mm-hmm. the physical side of of, of the boxing sport, the commitment that is required and, and and the energy it takes, would you advise um, one of your kids to pursue boxing? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I do advise. I will advise, mm-hmm. but I I will be also sad because. Yeah. I know that the, how our our Namibian boxers are suffering when he's coming when he's coming for professional. Yeah, yeah. You know, we we always uh, come out when somebody when the boxer did something. Mm-hmm. But uh, 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 when I won, is when you see people want to contribute something. Yeah, come away, work away. Mm-hmm. But that is not the time when of the person need contribution mm-hmm. from you. Mm-hmm. The person need contribution when when he's preparing for the fight it's because it's when he needs lots yeah. of things, yes. energy, whatever mm-hmm. to do. Yeah. So yes, I do. Yeah. I will do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now that you mentioned that, um, one of your biggest sponsors at the time you had um, sponsorship Nampawa. by by Nampawa mm-hmm. because you always had those uh, Nampawa trunks in all, most of the fights mm-hmm. and in MTC. Which of your sponsorships? Do you think not that I, that I want you to choose, but mm. really helped you most throughout, like uh, contributed the most part in your career? That really helped you the most. Of course, it's number. Number. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because you know, uh, remember, na- and this was not my sponsor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is where people they are making. They don't want to make people to understand. Okay. MTC it doesn't sponsor in in individual in boxers. Okay. NTC sponsor Mr. Sunshine Boxing Academy. Okay. Oh. You see? Mm-hmm. Nampawa was my sponsor. Okay. Sponsoring me. Then later, he ended up also sponsoring a event like, if you maybe this event, yeah. Mr. can go there individually. Then he, he can sponsor Mr. Uh, also the, the, the event. That's why. When I used to fight outside of the country, mm-hmm. Nampawa still gonna give me money for preparation mm-hmm. to prepare them or whatever okay. I, I need. Okay. Yeah. So, so they way that is when uh, people they did not make it make clear to understand. So people they must understand that 
who sponsor who. Mm -hmm. There's no boxer sign a contract with MTC. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. Um, thinking back to your to your to your professional career, mm -hmm. you have you have twenty five TKOs, mm -hmm. which is extremely good. How does it feel when you knock someone out and they are on the ground? They are not standing up. You know, like this one, ah, it's done. How's the how's the feeling of like you know? I I, I beat him without a doubt because you know when the decision goes, it's a unanimous decision. Mm -hmm. Everyone is saying what they want because um, Hitman is an Namibian mm -hmm. and I am someone who's supporting another fighter from a different country, so everyone has an opinion. But you know the 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 point of of yeah. of knocking someone out and there's no no doubt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Oh, when they uh, are knocking someone out, mm -hmm. there's no easy fight. Okay. Yeah? So when you when you knock someone out, yeah. when when you knock someone out, when you knock someone out, yeah. uh, even one point then he got down. Mm -hmm. When you go to your corner because the referee is always telling you to the white corner. Yeah. When you are standing at the white corner, you don't even want that guy to stand up mm -hmm. because you don't want to continue because there's yeah. no easy fight right. in life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when somebody's down, mm -hmm. then he, you, I'm telling myself that hey, this guy must not must stand up. Must stand up. Yeah. because you want to end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want that thing to be end. Yeah. yeah. I remember there was a fight. Uh, I think it was at the country club. Mm -hmm. You knocked the guy out in the first round. You know, and, and in in your, uh, I think you did the interview with the Namibian, mm -hmm. and people were saying no. Um, some people were upset because they wanted to see more, and then you responded no. Mm -hmm. uh, true fans of Hitman, they want Hitman to win. It's not to say they want to see the fight. So, yeah. uh, yes, mm -hmm. that is it. Because 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 when he, when I'm going to fight, if you are my fan, yeah, you want me to go and win. Yes. Yeah. How you you want me to win in? The, the sooner the, the better. The whole rounds, or you even in the first round. Yeah. If I want, you mm. jump. Yeah, jump. Because so you say yes, we won the fight. Because mm. any 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 punch can make decision. Okay. Yes. Right. Mm. So, um, last month you turned you turned forty five. Yes. Um, and now you are you are a retired uh, legend. From, from legend from boxing. Yes. How did you, how did you celebrate your your forty fifth birthday? You know you know the good things of me. Mm -hmm. And why I'm happy, I'm 45 years old. Yeah. But I know a lot of people, even if you are 20, what? If you say, let's go and run, I don't think you will read me. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm very happy because, you know, boxing, in boxing, there's a lot of things. There's people who went in boxing, they did not come out the way they went. Yeah. Yeah, you see? Uh, that's why people, they are always come when you are. Like all, uh, like all, like my fools, mm -hmm. they are always telling me about, oh, but we heard about Muhammad Ali. Yeah. He was a boxer, apparently, then he, when he come from there, you see, those mm -hmm. are the things. So you have to celebrate when you come. Boxing is not like soccer. Yeah. yeah? This is a reality. A reality. It's not like even, uh, 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 what is this? Uh, is it rugby? Ra not rugby. Uh, what is this? And you can put. Wrestling. wrestling, yeah, yeah. Boxing is not like wrestling because mm. wrestling people people prepare for it and, and what, yeah. come and mm -hmm. see. Boxing is a reality, a reality. And, and at that part when it's catchy, mm. yeah, you mm. go. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I come, I was there in boxing. Come, mm. uh, finish my career as a boxer. Mm. Then I come. I'm still continuing as a police officer. So mm. I'm very happy for that. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Good to see. So when you see now. Um, we would always see every time you, you go to a fight and you win, your 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 you get ranks in your in your in your in your police career. How does that actually work? How do they when is it when they when they when they rank you up? Is it because um, they are like okay you want to fight or what's what's the technicality? So what criteria do they use to rank someone who's like a who's in the force and also 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 a professional boxer yeah in, in that one is not really like that oh, okay yeah because he, uh, you know i saw a lot of people when they say no this guy is just get a ring because he won yeah no it's not you have to you know that's why i say you have to be disciplined, disciplined. the force mm -hmm. then you must work hard mm -hmm. when you given task you must go. do that task that's and then you okay. yeah so it's not really like that yes. yeah but there is also appreciation when he Maybe from the Inspector General himself or yeah. 
when you see that okay, this gentleman is doing, he's putting in an EVN yeah. and he's did, maybe he can also give you, but there's nothing what is coming here, yeah, we are going to promote you because we want the fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's not really like that. That is just a part of the okay. the job when you are working. So it's like that. Right. So you turn you turn forty five and you are fifteen years from from uh, retirement. Mm. What do you have? What are your plans when you when you are when you are done now with, with your with your work career? Yeah, of course. When I'm done with my work career, I wanna go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. I will continue. Everyone is welcome to me if you yeah. need advice when it's coming for sporting individual. Yeah. Things. The the whole sport doesn't only mean, mean boxing. Boxing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, until now, a lot of people are coming to me, those young boxers are mm -hmm. coming to me asking questions. So I address them what to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the things uh, what I always advise them, I, I want people to know what, why, if you are a boxer, especially when you turn professional, yeah, yeah, you must not do like as a team. When you turn professional, that is your job, mm -hmm. so you must know what you are doing. doing. Okay. So, because they are professional, that's why you will hear the, somebody send a contract with you. Yeah, because uh, a lot of a lot of boxers, when you when you turn professional, you get a coach or a team. You have to sign a contract with that team, so no one to touch you. If somebody you fight under somebody's promotion, mm -hmm. then they have to sue you or something like that. So I I I am always like to to educate young boxer to understand mm -hmm. not for not for them to make a, a mistakes mistakes yeah when you you must understand that yes this is the this is professional this is job yeah. so we are here with people so yeah, that's why you have percentage there yeah. mm -hmm. you, you speak a lot about um, the discipline it requires in, in being a professional so now after your 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 retirement from boxing do you still work out as much as you used to when you were when you were boxing of do you still put on the gloves you get in the gym and you spar with the guys the younger guys and or is it just you just work out like physically but you don't get in the ring anymore no like now i used to, no no i don't get in the ring so mm -hmm. i like now at my house i have a a gym, yeah. At my house, two panels in there. Everything. Yeah. I got to run and come in there. I can call a a, a coach mm -hmm. just to come give me some pads or something like that. Okay. And I can also call a young boxer to come so we can train together. Okay. Yeah, something like that. So I'm I'm still there. Right. Gym, yeah. Do you ever think you will take up um, let's say professional coaching on a level where you have your professional boxer and you are training them because you are obviously someone with so much experience in. In the field of boxing, do you ever think it's something that you would consider doing, where you find a talent who's very good, there's potential, or you say you're going to be their trainer and manager to get them to a very professional level, also? Is yeah, oh, of there? course, we we have a team, AC AC promotion, uh, promotion. Okay. So we have a gym, mm -hmm. so we are training there at at, at, at Eros Primer. Okay. This way is our gym. We are set up our gym there. So then the AC will be there. So me, I will be in also, mm -hmm. but uh, not really as a head of training. I will be there as a uh, uh, team, uh, part of the team. Yeah. So whatever is doing there, we are. It's like I'm in the board of that. No. Okay. Yeah. So we organize everything there. Mm -hmm. So yes, I will be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, now that you're talking about that, um, do you also think, or maybe it's just me who feels this way? Like a lot of our 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 boxers, especially the ones that go pro mm. and they they become um, title contenders, I, I just feel like sometimes they start boxing very late. Where as like with you know um, international boxers, mm. some of them they start boxing at a very young age. Mm. Um, by the age of twenty two, they are already competing for titles. Or is it is it just me that I feel like some of them start a bit at a at a very old age? Yeah, no, that is true. Because you know, when we, when when we get our independence, yeah, yeah. we we never had professional. Yeah. So it was only amateur. And uh, if you check, it was like team. People they were not like open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even our elders, uh, when you say I want to win box, they can even say no, no, no yeah. not go there. But there was no reason really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, of course we start boxing when you are 
when you, like when you came to look for your life in Inventory. in window, mm-hmm. then you see then you see this that you are going to because you are on your own. Yeah. Your mother just heard that oh no, I'm planning on boxing. Yes, yeah, that is it. Yeah, like now, I see a uh, lot of uh, mothers and fathers they are bringing kids to the boxing gym because okay. now they will also mm-hmm. start yeah. to understand. They understand because it's a sport. Okay. Yeah. Right. On a lighter note. Uh, there's a there's a upcoming match Terence um, Crawford versus Errol Spence. What are your what are your thoughts? And who on whose side are you? Who do you think is going to to win that? I'm I'm at Bom Crawford. Okay. Terence. Mm. Yeah, that is my <laughs> my boy. Okay. Of course, yeah, I'm on his side. Even though th- that fight is not an easy fight. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I'm I'm and I hope uh, yes. I hope and I I want Terence to win. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, because you know, you know, the terrace comfort is like a. You know, I'm from Okapsani. Yeah. Now, there's no one from Indangung. You see? Indangung is a little bit, oh, there in the village most. Yeah, a bit deeper. A bit, bit deeper. Yeah. But even though they are not really deeper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those, those, those town what is deeper. Okay. Yeah, they, they, that's why you see. Terrace is from that side. Then he, when he came now here, mm. these guys is like they are, they are town boys. Mm, okay. Yeah. So we uh, can even it's yes. a, it tells is somewhat relatable because yes. you guys are both. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So and when I, when Terrace also fought uh, uh, Julius in Dongo in mm. Omaha, Nebraska, yeah. I was there. Oh, you went to watch oh, fight? Yes, okay. I was there in that fight. Mm-hmm. So it's when we meet with Terrace, then we even give me a t-shirt. I still wearing it today. At my okay. house. But if, just for interest sake, now you went there, you are Namibian, you are being patriotic, mm-hmm. but uh, Terence is your, your friend. Yes. Who, who are you hoping to win the, the fight now? Of course, that, that fight, mm. uh, you can, uh, I was already know that Terence will win the fight. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, even, even is, I'm with my team here. With a blue machine. Yeah, with a blue machine. <laughs> I want blue machine to win, but, yeah. but experience and everything, mm-hmm. you can see that Terence is... is uh, Yes, yeah, we go good. through a uh, lot of experienced boxers, mm-hmm. and and I remember that that was undisputed uh, undisputed championship that time. Yeah, uh, because Terrence started from when he a lightweight. Yeah, the the title when when you know when when I when Terrence fought with uh, Ricky Benz, <laughs> you know Terrence beat Ricky Benz. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Then from there. Then that, that then when Terrace moved up, the WBO come back in. Oh, yeah. that's where you fought. Then the... it's when I went to Fort Oh, Okay. Yes. Then he moved up to the junior middle to, to the junior middleweight. Oh, okay. Uh, older with I mean mm. junior older with to to Julius uh, time. So and ta- Julius was coming from the other side. He won the IBF. Then from there he bro- he won the WBA. Mm-hmm. You see. Yeah. So. It was you, you mentioned something very important there. You said um, in the fight of Indongo and, and Terence, mm. you knew Terence was going to fight because he was a more professional fighter. Yes. Mm. Looking back at our um, current situation in the country, how the economy is, mm. what can mm. we do at this point or what do we need to get our fighters also to that level where when they have to fight in big matches like that, the odds are on their side that they stand a chance. What, what can we do? to get our, what is needed, you know, and, and, and I'm not just saying from, from guys like yourself who are, are, are boxers or mm-hmm. professionals, but even like they say from people who are in the industry, the public sector, the private sector, what can we really, really do to help bring up our, our, our local boxers? Yeah, of course, we just have to make a lot of facts, mm-hmm. then we, we must also sponsor these guys. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, the problem is only that we, may, uh, Boxing is, is always, if there's no sponsor, there's no boxing. Okay. Yeah, that's why you see the fight is was on, then later hit the fight is off. It doesn't mean that maybe the boxers, they get injured. You know, if you had someone is fighting in America, then later you had a that the fight was called off because mm-hmm. of what? Just mm-hmm. because of the injury, because the sponsor, there, everything is there. But here in Namibia, no, no and, our, and our fight doesn't really look for a lot of money mm, like yeah. here in Namibia it's yeah. just a small money because here we we build up uh, our boxer record mm. so they can at least go up to fight for the for the titles outside okay. 
yeah, it's only supporting special companies that try to support these guys. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, any 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 last words you want to leave for your <coughs> your, your fans, uh, people who have been supporting Hitman from day one, uh, and people who are still you know, <laughs> looking out when they see you, you come back to Akapia, they want to make a stop at your house. Yeah, I know. Yeah, to my fans, uh, the Hitman is still here. Yeah. So. Everyone is welcome to me. Mm. Yeah, even when I come to you, greeting you, don't say this. No, mm. I'm just hitman as, yes, as just a, a woman being like you. Mm. So nothing changed. Yeah. So, yeah, to the young boxers, people who are now concentrating to the boxing, mm. this screen is number one, it's the key if you want to become somebody. So you must have this screen, listen to your coach, mm. listen to your promoter, listen to your manager, whatever. Mm. And so that is it. Yeah. And and alcohol, yeah. you see, it can kill your, it can break your, your life. Because yeah. if you are just doing alcohol, you know, I can drink alcohol because I'm not doing anything. Yes. But if you are in sport, of course, doing boxing and everything, and you are mixing with the alcohol, mm. no, you will not achieve what you wanted to achieve. Okay. But just leave it then until you get 45 years, <laughs> like me. Yeah. Then I can do what yeah, I can consider. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Um, because uh, that's why I like to say they must they must always life after boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't want the things after boxing in our life. So bring uh, build up your life. So after boxing, you must have life. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Hitman, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, my brother. Really, yeah. really appreciate. You are, you are, you are a very humble, very chilled person, you know. Um, and it's good to meet people who, like, we as kids, were looking up to, and then now I'm sitting next to you and yeah. having a normal conversation, like we've known each other for years. So I appreciate your time, um, and thank you very much for 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 really coming on our podcast. And I hope there's someone out there who can watch this video and be inspired by your story and say, one day when I grow up. Or one day I expect to be like like uh, Paulus the Hitman Moses, and maybe we can move our name on also. If they have a jab like yours, <laughs> we we give them the yeah, name Hitman also. Like that jab is yeah. yeah I know. And uh, you are not even like the young boxers. Yeah. You can name yourself Hitman. Yeah, yeah, yeah you are more than welcome. welcome. You are more than welcome <laughs> because yeah. you can even get that jab. That's it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, to sure. our viewers. Uh, Nokia Podcast. That was Paulus the Hitman Moses, and uh, we are out. Uh, please remember to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and leave very beautiful messages for our champion. Um, thank you very much. No okay, podcast. Shut up. Stay. Mm. Let's take a picture for the thumbnail. Mm. Oh, yeah. <coughs> how, how long do we shoot? 15. Okay, well, it's not bad, man. How's the episode? Hmm? It's nice. Solid, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Thank you. Good, good. <laughs>